Good morning, everybody. And thank you for such a warm uh, reception. I hope in standing up you got a little exercise and uh, allowed you to warm up a little bit. Well, as everybody knows, today is a very special day. After seven years of planning, developing, and raising financing, the Wellness Center is going to be a reality. And I am ecstatic. I must also admit another reason I'm ecstatic that the Wellness Center is going to start construction. I won't have to sit through an eighth year of planning and developing. <laughs> My parents established our family tradition of helping others. In the early 1970s, my mom and dad built the Klein Community Center in Northeast Philadelphia. And in the early 1990s, a community center in Holon, Israel, which is a suburb of Tel Aviv. In the late 1990s, my mother and I built a sports center in the same city. In 2005, I wanted to do something special in North Philadelphia community. And I was referred to Sister Mary and Joan McConnell by Lynn and Harold and by my best friend, Steve Corman. I approached Sister Mary and Joan about doing a community center, but their idea was a wellness center, which they believe would have more of an impact. And as everybody knows, who can say no to Sister Mary? I'm glad I didn't. So the past seven years have been a whirlwind of possibilities turned into realities, thanks to the power of we. It's an amazing feeling to see this project finally happening. I want to take this opportunity to thank Sister Mary, Joan, and Monica for their hard work, their dedication, and their belief in the Wellness Center. A special thanks. A special thanks to Dr. Richard Wender and his Jefferson staff for their patience and expertise in developing the medical programs for the Wellness Center. I am also grateful to our lead donors for their generosity, without whom this project would not be possible. Leah and John Middleton, Jefferson University Hospital, the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, Mrs. Betty Moran, Independence Blue Cross, PNC Bank, the City of Philadelphia, Connolly Foundation, Jennifer and Steve Corman, Lynn and Harold Honickman, Jane Pepper, and of course, what we've all learned today about Health Resources and Services Administration, better known as HRSA. Also, I want to recognize my personal mentor in this project, Glenn Shively. Yeah. I would sit next to Glenn at every meeting, and these professionals are always, always using these medical acronyms. So I would sit next to Glenn, and I would say, Glenn, what does that mean? Glenn, what does that mean? Obviously, Glenn is a professional in the uh, medical field, and he helped me a lot. My thanks to Glenn for all your patience with me. Finally, a thanks to my Toby for her patience and her support. This project would not have been happened without the support of our city leaders, namely Mayor Michael Nutter, and in particular, Council President Darrell Clark. Darrell was instrumental in helping us acquire the land for the center, so thank you, Darrell, for all your support. In addition, as you have learned today, we have received the largest grant from Governor Corbett and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. And of course, we have received support from the federal government represented by Pana Kenya, who's from HRSA. My parents taught me the importance of getting truly involved in the communities you care about. Developing and supporting projects like the Wellness Center has been a learning experience for me and has given me great personal satisfaction. Thank you for all being here today. Your past, current, and hopefully future support 
of this very innovative project is truly appreciative. In the words of Winston Churchill, we make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. I'm uh, Joan McConnon, and uh, I have the pleasure every. Hey. It's my pleasure and honor every single day to collaborate with the most talented, tenacious, uh, creative uh, colleagues. And truth be told, it's really about trying to keep up with both Monica and Janet, who have driven this uh, vision to a reality. So it's just such a joy and pleasure to be here today. Um, and as I look out uh, upon everyone gathered here today, I'm reminded of a core belief of the Project Home community. Uh, 25 years ago, we were in the locker rooms of a swimming pool uh, trying to figure out how we can permanently break the cycle of homelessness and poverty. And it was understood then, and is bearing witness today, that we believe that the key to ending poverty and homelessness is in the building of relationships and community with people from all walks of life. So as I look out upon this room, and I recall the wisdom of Sister Mary and Will O'Brien 25 years ago. It's just uh, an amazing presence here today uh, that says we are about relationships and it is working together that leads us to a community that is healthy. So we are today certainly uh, celebrating all of you and are particularly grateful that you're here today. And we look forward to the day when the doors of the Steve Klein Wellness Center are open and providing critically needed care to our community. But we also know that there is much more work to be done. All of the groups gathered here today, whether you're from the public, private, nonprofit sector, must continue to tap that power of we and work together with our community leaders on a shared goal of providing health care for all our citizens, especially those most marginalized and vulnerable. As Sister Mary stressed earlier this morning, the Project Home community passionately believes that all persons are entitled to decent, affordable health care. So we cannot be satisfied until all our sisters and brothers, and especially all of the children in our care have the health coverage that they need and deserve. When that day comes, when that day comes, we can truly say we are a healthy society and that will certainly be a day of sheer joy, blessing and celebration. So thank you all for helping us to celebrate today. Special thanks to Lee and John Middleton, to Steve Klein, for all of our public partners who have spoken today about that vision of a community, and especially to Sister Mary Scullion, to Miss Helen Brown, Miss T, Miss Edwina, Miss Elaine, who have been here doing this work day in and day out for decades. to Monica and Janet and the, taking that powerful vision that is in this room and every person and making it a reality with this project. And we look forward to seeing all of you back here in early 2015 to open those doors. Thank you very much and God bless.